Hi everyone, let's talk about the Lydian mode. So the Lydian scale is the fourth mode of the major scale. What that means is if you take a major scale, but start and finish from the fourth note and treat that fourth note as if it's your home note, your tonic, you get a different sound, a different mode. Let's take for example, a G major scale. If I play the same notes, but starting and finishing on the C, notice it, it takes on a different persona, it's kind of lighter and fluffier. And when we look at these notes, it's not the same as C major, even though it's a, a major sound with that lovely major third in it. It doesn't have this kind of do, re, mi, fa, so. it's got this do, re, mi, ha, a sharpened fourth note when compared to a major scale. So whenever you talk about modes and their formula, compare them to a sort of parallel major scale. So C major goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C Lydian goes C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. In other words, we've got one, two, three, sharp four when compared to the parallel major scale, five, six, seven, and back to one. So the formula for Lydian when compared to major is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. But when can we use it? Well, if you look at the chords in the key, let's say the key of G, you've got one chord is major, G major, the two chord is A minor, the three chords B minor, the four chord, C major, five chords D major, the sixth chord is E minor, the uh, seven chord is uh, F sharp uh, diminished, which we don't use very often, and then back to G, the one chord. If we extend those chords to say four note chords, we get G major seven, our two chord is minor seven, our three chord is B minor seven, our four chord is C major seven, five chord is D dominant seven, our sixth chord is E minor seven, our seven chord is F sharp minor seven flat five and back to our one chord. By the way, every key is the same. Every major key goes major minor minor, major major minor diminished. Or if you extend them, you get major seven minor seven minor seven major seven dominant seven minor seven minor seven flat five. Whew. Anyway, so what we do is when we play the fourth chord in our key, in this case C major seven, if we treat that as our home chord, our resolving chord then we are basically playing the fourth mode. We're playing C Lydian. Okay, so you might think, well, how do I know if I play a C major chord that I'm playing Lydian? How do I know I'm not just playing a C major scale over it? Well, you could play a C major scale over a C major seven chord. That would be fine. In fact, the chord on its own is kind of ambiguous. It doesn't really tell us much. However, look at the chords in a progression. If I've got a C chord and then a D chord, there is no D chord in the key of C. However, whenever I see two major chords next to each other, to me that spells out a four and a five chord. The only time you see two major chords next to each other is when you have a four and a five chord like that. So we must be playing a four and a five chord. If we treat the four chord as our resolving chord, we've got the fourth mode, C Lydian. In fact, I can really establish that Lydianism by keeping a C on my bass note the whole time. that kind of light, fluffy Lydian sound. So let's put that in my looper here. If I play C major, it won't work. Clashes, if I sharpen the four, so I'm playing the fourth mode of the G major scale, I'm playing C Lydian. So there's a Lydian chord progression for you, taking maybe the four and the five chord, but leaving the fourth chord's root in place the whole time. So C to D, but leave that C there. Okay. And this is used in film music all the time to convey this kind of unresolved, major, but kind of dreamy kind of quality. Let's try and find another Lydianism. Let's say we're in the key of C. So we've got chords like C, uh, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B minor 7 flat 5, C. Let's say we took the 4 chord and the 5 chord and left the 4 chord's root on the bass. There's our Lydianism. We can even play the 1 chord, which is C, but leave an F on the bass. So we've got... By the way, a sharp four and a sharp 11 are actually the same note, as you can see from this uh, diagram of the scale here. 
everything basically repeats itself in the second octave. So we use terms like sharp 4 and sharp 11 interchangeably. So watch out if ever you see a chord like a C major 7 sharp 11. That's a big clue that you need a scale with a sharp 11. That is Lydian. Anyway, I've done a backing track for you using the C Lydian scale. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. That was the backing track you heard me playing over at the beginning. Now, Lydian's quite difficult to, uh, to play over. Um, in, in the backing track, what I did was I played a kind of Lydian intro like that. And I would say less is more when you're playing over that. And in the chorus, it's kind of got a more of a G major feel, but they're all the same notes. It all comes from the key of G. However, with modes, I recommend that you think of modes as their own unique thing. Don't always try and relate it back to its parent major scale, otherwise you'll be sitting there going, hang on, C, G major, and it's too much thinking. You need to be able to just go bang and play a mode in any key. First of all, because it acknowledges the fact that that, that uh, mode has its own tonal quality, it's its own thing. But also, you don't want to have to keep kind of doing the maths and working, working out where you came from. You want to be able to just go straight to it. Anyway, I hope that video was useful to you. If so, please click like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.